Hello. Suspense and horror films have always been a staple at the Estes Park Film Festival, but nobody does them quite as good as writer-director Patrick Ray and his production team at Sino Reality Pictures in Lawrence, Kansas. Since 2004, Patrick and his team have produced two independent feature films and numerous award-winning short films. Many of these films screened at the annual Estes Park Film Festival, including the regional Emmy-winning short film Women's Intuition. In 2009, Patrick was presented with the Estes Park Excellence in Filmmaking Award for Outstanding Achievement in Cinema. Recently, the 7522 Network's own Jenny Blau sat down with Patrick Ray right before the awards presentation and talked about some of his films. What's your history? You're a very experienced filmmaker from what I hear. Uh, how, many, how many films have you made now? We've made a, no, we went to KU, or University of Kansas, which is in Lawrence, and um, we started a production company, uh, myself and Ryan Jones, who does a lot of uh, the post-production work on our films. And, uh, we partnered up and uh, created Cena Reality Pictures in 2001. And we just started making short films constantly with whatever camera we could get our hands on. And uh, so, you know, and getting better as we go and uh, working with uh, really talented people in the Kansas City and Lawrence area. And, uh, you know, all the people that we work with are the people we met in film school. So we just kind of build those relationships and uh, keep just going. keep making films constantly and, you know, doing it whenever we can. So, um, yeah. So, what was the inspiration for the first of the films I saw, uh, Miss Brummett's Garden? <sighs> Tell us a little bit about okay. the film, okay. in your own words. You know, the, the inspiration for the film is, is The Twilight Zone, obviously, Outer right. Limits, a uh, little bit of Tales from the Crypt. But, uh, <laughs> you know, my grandmother uh, passed away not, not long before we, we decided to shoot the movie, and that was kind of my inspiration, because she had a garden, and she always talked about fairies in the garden and stuff right. like that. So, as far as writing it, that was kind of my inspiration. Was, okay. was just stuff so that she like said. A, so, a yeah, an actual personal personal uh, connection to it. So, um, we shot the movie for four days. Actually, we shot the film during last year's festival here. So that's why oh, I couldn't really? come out last year. So this is we your were, first year that. Yes, right. right. So because awesome. um, every year we've always been shooting one of our films the weekend you guys were having the festival. So, <laughs> so um, we're glad to have you finally. Uh, but we shot we shot in in Lawrence, Kansas, and uh, at the at the point where we were filming there weren't a lot of flowers, so we had to like make the garden in the film look more like. It looked gorgeous. Yeah, it was so prettier. lush and vibrant. Yeah, so we just kept going to the floral the, the floral store. Very magical grabbing. fairy stuff. Yeah, <laughs> the composer for that film was. Uh, Harry Manfredini and he did the original scores for the Friday the 13th series. Oh really? Yeah and um, I met him at a film festival and showed him some of my, my short films and then he was he was all like I definitely want to work with you guys. Awesome. Do Not Disturb which is like in contrast to that I was going to say it's so very different. <laughs> it is. I wanted to make something a little bit more psychological and creepy and basically like I explained um, earlier today that uh, we were going to be we're shooting our feature film Nailbiter with the red camera, and we needed to test the camera out, the workflow. And uh, basically, I wanted to come up with a with something that we could tackle in three days. I mean, because right. we had three days with the camera. Yeah. And, yeah. So I convinced the Marriott and Lawrence to let me film in there for three days, and uh, rent a room. And, and uh, of course, when I told them we were shooting a movie in a hotel room, they raised some eyebrows. So I had to give them the script, and of course, they right. approved the script. And uh, uh, you know. Uh, it was it was a lot of fun, but it was a, it was a very fast three days because we, we had a lot of shots to get, and uh, the whole the whole concept behind that is it's kind of like this serial killer is in this he's locked himself in this hotel room and he starts receiving messages from basically somebody who's like a secret admirer, right. you know, like an his invisible biggest his biggest fan, and, <laughs> and um, it was very there's a little bit of there's a little bit of open endedness to the ending of the movie, which is which is what I, my you know. So what's next on the agenda? Are you working on shorts again? Or are you I am still look working on. I'm still shooting. Well, we shot five weeks this summer on our feature Nailbiter, and then we oh, have yeah? another two weeks of shooting because it's like and there are two weeks of pickups. We're going to do uh, five days starting next Friday, and then we have another probably week and a half that we're going to do in the spring because um, it has some heavy duty monster creature effects, awesome. which we've got a guy in LA doing. Named Alan well, after Holt. Do Not Disturb, I'm pretty excited. About yeah, that. and it's, it's the <laughs> concept is, is fun because it's kind of got this Kansas City vibe because it's a mom and three daughters and they're on their way to the airport and they mm -hmm. get stuck in this tornado and they have to find shelter and they end up like getting trapped in the storm cellar nice. and, and then there's something like the down there with them on. and yeah, right. So it's just <laughs> it's kind of a it's it's alien meets twister, I guess is the best way to oh, how can you describe go around it. So, so um, but um, are you gonna bring it here? I hope so. I mean, I hope in a year we're completely done with it because it's going to take a lot of 
a lot of work in, in post production, and like I said, we've got some more to shoot on it. But uh, uh, we've started cutting the uh, eighty percent of the movie that we have already in the can. So, so it's pretty awesome. exciting. And then we're doing a. I think we're going to end up on our hiatus between the spring and the, the, the winter and the spring. We're going to do a short. So, cool. we'll have to look forward to those. Um, how do you feel about your first time up here? Is it a good festival? Great. Yeah, that's that's awesome. Yes, awesome. I mean I was really amazed at the quality of the films and just you know love the location. You know everybody's awesome. So well, great, glad yeah. you made it and glad we have something to look forward to oh. from you. They were Thank two you. great films. So thanks a Thank lot you. for coming up here, yeah, taking absolutely. the time to join us for sure.